Bitcoin has hit its 50% retracement for the third time in the past three days, and Tuesday has been traditionally the worst day, the worst day for Bitcoin since 2024 began. So that is the focus of today as we get into a little bit more of a nuanced portion of this analysis because we do look at just the overall high probability of Bitcoin putting in a major low probably around the last week of this month. But between now and then, what can happen? Well, that's focus of today because Tuesday, if there's going to be a breakdown, it would very likely be today. So first things first, let's jump into the charts right in over here. And we can see that Tuesday, statistically speaking, again, least likely to close positively since 2024 began with only 37.5% of all Tuesdays in that time frame closing positively, meaning that it has by a wide margin, the, the very, very high likelihood to close negatively at 62.5% and also the highest negative returns at losing almost 3% for those negative Tuesdays. Now, now, once again, we have seen yesterday the the price to six range play out yet again, and it looks like today we're probably seeing the same thing as well. Not only did Bitcoin hit the 50% level and bouncing from there, but Bitcoin did play out from open to current low, nearly a 3% move to the downside. So. What happens intraday here is going to be very, very telling because I do believe that if Bitcoin is going to break down, if we're going to see Bitcoin really break down and and hold below this, you know, 65-ish thousand region, um, very likely it would, it would begin today. So this is starting to become more and more interesting from, you know, to me, at least from like a potentially long-term investment standpoint, because, you know, we got less than two weeks left now in this month. And realistically, between this this coming Friday and the Friday after that, or basically until the end of the month from this coming Friday, uh, I would be very much interested in, in in potentially looking for a major low. But until then, risk remains to the downside. Until it is at the very least Friday, I. I would not count on Bitcoin putting in a low just yet. The question is, though, if Bitcoin grinds out this level more, continues to bounce from you know about sixty five thousand bucks basically the 50 percent level right here um obviously that's going to eat up the time so the more that it does that the more and more naturally that perhaps yeah we've actually already seen the you know the move to the downside i mean it did come uh down to one of our pockets there so fair enough um and that could very well be it but that would imply that really we don't see any continuation to the downside today and again tuesday being the most likely day to see that well just hold your breath, I guess. <laughs> hold your breath. Um, anyways, moving on from there, I do want to go back into where is my damn charts? Where's what? Seriously, where actually is my charts? There we go. All right, <laughs> I almost lost it right there. I'm almost losing my mind. I've been playing too much chess in the morning. Fuck. I like literally spent two hours on the toilet, uh, mostly playing chess. Um, sometimes shitting as well. Anyway, anyways, uh, while we are still in that sort of waiting period between now and at minimum this coming Friday. Again, it should be known that all higher term time frame stochastic momentum is continuing to the downside. Daily time frame still down as long as Bitcoin's below 67,250. Health, healthily in the bearish control zone there, by the way. Two day time frame also coming down hard from a rejection off the critical zone of the bull side. 71,700 is the number to beat as of right now, probably unlikely. And also should be known that there is a nice trend line regression coming in from this area right here. So perhaps we don't see the next major low until in, until that two day uh, time frame stochastic also just somewhere down around here, around the edge of the bull, uh, sorry, bearish control zone. Um, a three day time frame, obviously this is gonna be downside as well. And the five day and the weekly, as we already know, are still healthily to the downside. 68,500 is the pivot um, for the five day and the weekly, uh, 68,100. Um, what also should be known is that the five day for spot price action is going to be closing tonight. And this one would actually be incredibly telling to me as well. If Bitcoin closes today below $67,000, which right now, you know, it's more, it's about almost 1500 bucks below, um, we are going to see the five day time frame turn to the downside on spot price action, which probably precedes uh, CME as well. And so that, again, would be a really good indication that Bitcoin is going to fish lower. Um, so again, uh, Bitcoin doesn't necessarily need to break down today, but even just being below $67,000 is likely going to be enough, um, assuming that this next pivot you know, moves uh, uh, you know, further up to the north side. If that happens, that's an extremely obvious sign that Bitcoin is going to be headed lower, um, probably to the very, very low $60,000 territory. Of course, the five-day time frame over here for CME, we do see that 21 exponential moon average coming in. Very low, $61,000, uh, 61300 actually. That, I believe, is also uh, kind of around one of our major fibs here as well. Yeah, uh, into this lower pocket right here. So again, 
you know, if Bitcoin does break down today, that's likely where I'm looking for somewhere around 61, somewhere around 61, give or take, you know, let's, let's call it like 500 bucks from that number. Um, so that would kind of be the order of operations. If Bitcoin closes the five day below 67,000 bucks, probably looking down around there. If Bitcoin breaks down today, probably looking down around there overall, maybe not in the same day, but between now and like, you know, Friday essentially, um, and perhaps even into next week. But between again, this coming Friday and basically the end of the month, I would very much be on a major uh, low watch. Until then, it's risk to the downside. Moving on from there, um, again, well, we, we don't really have too much to update on this particular chart. Uh, looking at CME for the HPDR bands, you know, is there anything super interesting to be aware of right here? It's, you know, just catching another bounce over the 61.8 level, yes. Kind of already tells you what you already know in this case, in this particular instance, at least, um, you know, closing, closing today on the lows or just anywhere below 65 for CME. Very, very likely we do see this one come down. Yeah, 61s. I, you know, there, there might be short term bounces along the way in like 63 ish, 63.5, something like that. But ultimately, you know, I, I wouldn't be really. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't be looking at that as like a potential reversal point. I'd just be looking at that as like a very short term time frame bounce and like that it come down more. So the picture becomes clearer and clearer, more and more clear as, uh, you know, as we trudge over to the right as the time scale continues. But <clears throat> realistically, it's just some more waiting games right here. More waiting, just more patience required. Now, if you have stayed to the very end of this video, which hasn't been all that long, just to be fair, um, I do want to let you know uh, of something a little bit more on the back ends here. So, whoops, wrong chart. Here we go. Okay, so this is the hash ribbons indicator. And uh, if you've been on this channel for, you know, like the last few years, you're probably very familiar with this. Um, and in this case, we did get a, a capitulation signal way back on over here in May, yeah, mid-May. Um, those signals in and of themselves are not too interesting to me. They don't really have like great correlations with actual dumps in history. But what's most important is when this does inevitably print a blue buy signal like you saw back on over here, over here, and where all these uh, vertical green vertical bars are. Um, throughout the history of Bitcoin, and there are many examples of this. Uh, that is when, again, very likely, we're probably pro we're probably going to be able to accurately call like the macro low, um, <clears throat> or at least a, a a like point of maximum pain for Bitcoin. That I would not really be expecting it to go any lower than that. Um, I won't go through in the through through the full rigmarole in terms of explanation right here, but what we also know due to prior studies, which I actually don't have on the board right here, is that these signals, these capitulation to blue buy signals, like you saw back on over here, on average, these take about 45 days from capitulation to print that new blue buy signal. And as of right now, from this capitulation signal right here, we can see Bitcoin is on day number uh, 36 or 35, 36, something like that. 45 days would put us in terms of timing where Friday, last Friday of this month, basically the 28th. Let me just check my calendar really, really quickly right here. Yeah, that's last Friday of this month. And so, you know, again, between this Friday, which is our quad witching date and next Friday, basically the end of the month, because there's no more real trading days uh, after that one. Um, you know, very, very likely we do see something resembling like a major low here. Uh, on the other hand, if we don't, then it's probably big old dump city. I, I think that's a lot less likely. I think that's much less likely, but as always, you know, you need to have some sort of area uh, that lets you know, I was wrong, I was wrong. But, um, you know, let's just play around with with an idea right here. Because again, we're, we're getting deep into this video now. This is for like the true TA nerds. Um, let's say that the blue buy signal printed uh, you know, on time, let's say, you know, basically around end of month. What would that imply? Assuming Bitcoin does not break below its current low on the 1st of May, it would imply that that 1st of May is very likely going to be the low before Bitcoin just uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it can't retest it, but it, that that is going to be the low. That is very likely to be the low before Bitcoin, you know, trades sideways and, uh, and, 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 uh, and up and to the right. Um, for the foreseeable future. So we've seen this many times in the past. Actually, in fact, the last uh, example of this was a really good one um, right here. Blue buy signal printed. Last major low before that was the low before Bitcoin went sideways and up. You can see that it came back down and retested around that region, but there were no closing lower lows, most importantly, than this prior trending low. So very, very important right there. Um, same thing over here. 
Same thing over here. Same thing over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. You get the idea. So, uh, so once that happens, that's going to be something that I'm going to be pretty damn loud about, but it's not super relevant just yet. So, uh, again, most likely around end of month, if we're going off of uh, what's statistically speaking, most likely to happen. So I want to once again let you know that you can still get uh, this indicator over here, the historical price action statistics indicator, which, by the way, has worked, been working for, for, for range scout plays incredibly well, especially since like late May, which <laughs> is kind of fucking crazy, um, almost every day. Uh, you can get it in the links in the description below. Um, it's a one-time purchase, and well, if you are statistically minded, probably makes sense. Anyways, uh, other than that, we still have signups open for the crypto school. It is less than 10 days now. It's nine days, seven hours, two minutes, and 40 seconds and counting. Again, it is completely free to sign up to this. Um, there are limited spaces. It does require an exchange account, but it's it's your money. Like that's that's how that works. Um, so I you know I think it's a pretty damn good deal. Um, anyways, uh, this 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 program, this course, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> basically goes over my sort of philosophy on price action. And also we set up a trading template uh, that you can use for yourself and, and iterate on top of and, you know, create your own sort of unique strategies based off of your own unique, uh, unique personalities. Anyways, um, yep, that one's counting down and we'll be starting that one soon enough. We'll also do a, a live stream a week for that as well. And speaking of live streams, we'll do one tomorrow too. So I'm going to end the video at that moment or at this moment. <laughs> as always, I want to wish you the best bets. Again, keep your eyes on 67,000 bucks today, anywhere below there. Very likely continue. We have not seen the low just yet. Um, and of course, if Bitcoin closed below, you know, 65, I mean, that would be very, you know, very obvious and would imply that we're going to see continuation of the downside like now uh, rather than maybe later this week. All right, sweet. That's it for me. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully tomorrow.